Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. What is something you say to scammers instead of hanging up? Please do not post phone numbers or other personal information in this thread, see rule 4. I used to get a lot of home security calls offering alarm systems and cameras. I would of course ask all the curious questions and then lead them to believe I was using the alarm system and cameras to keep people inside the house. The questions those guys ask should have raised huge red flags to anybody they talked to, but you just know some people gave real information. I kept one on the line once, and I was besides myself at all the questions they were asking. I was fairly certain they'd just come by and rob you the next time you were at work. Where do you live? How many doors and windows on the first floor, what configuration? Any dogs? How often is your house empty forward slash when do you go to work? Any computers? jewelry, expensive paintings, etc. Jesus. Literally everything I would ask if I was calling up someone so I could rob them. LOL reminds me of a case where a fake UPS guy visited a German streamer and was like we have a really big package to deliver to you the next few days. When are you not at home, just so we don't miss you? And we need some strong men, do you have any strong men living here? Edit, the streamer's name is Eugis Bielt and it happened line a few weeks ago. He is not living in Germany since a few years. The guy was driving some sort of rented moped. With the license plate they figured out the scammer's full name, address and the fact that he is not allowed to leave his home country, Austria, as he is mentally ill. Or something like that. Sure enough police was waiting for him when he arrived in his home country. Do you by chance have anything that could alert me when small children try to get out my basement windows? You mean try to get in? Did I fucking stutter? I ask them to confirm my information for security purposes. Breaks their script and they don't know what to say. That's a good one. We should use this to verify parties calling us. Companies, at least here in the Netherlands, do the same, I have to confirm I am me, when I call them. Edit. The callback, idea from a commenter, can be used. Something like. They give a number and when you return the call to the service number you choose the option call back and you'll have to give the number and end with a hash. Or OTTKCO apps can be used with a 2FA, 2-factor, code can be used, but the other way around. Hi, I'm calling about your car's warranty that's about to expire. What creature sat in the corner the first time Harry Potter visited my office in Hogwarts? Um, sir. What creature? My dad used to get a lot of Viagra salesmen. So he pleads with them to stop sending free samples because he's too hard all the time and can't live his life. Ah, I'm so glad you called. Your free sample is great. However, it's been four hours now and I've been wondering how do I get it, you know, down. Salesman starts describing emergency priapism treatment. Here's a quick peek. Excess blood is drained from your penis using a small needle and syringe, aspiration. As part of this procedure, the penis might also be flushed with a saline solution. I tell them my name is Billy Madonna, and I drive a 93 Toyota Paseo. Then I start getting pissed when they tell me they actually can't give me an extended warranty on my car. I mean, why can't you? You called me, and the machine said I could get an extended warranty. That is false advertising. Let me speak with your supervisor. Edit, awards. Well, thank you, kind strangers. I can't drive anymore. Why not? Judge said I'd go to jail if I ever drove again after all my DUIs and running over that family. Keep making up atrocities until they hang up. And you know what? That family had it coming. With that stick figure family decal on the rear window. Even had the fucking dog. It is the mark of the devil, it's in the Bible. So anyway. I started blasting. Made a new account just to comment this. I used to do cold call sales. Nothing scammy, just annoying. I didn't like doing it and I'm glad I got out of it. I guess one guy got tired of getting calls from us because he went off on a tirade about how he was caught in the middle of a famous pedophilia scandal. His business had gone bust as a result and he had lost all his friends and his family didn't want anything to do with him. His reputation was destroyed and he ranted about how he wasn't involved but the press had printed his name and that was it. We had a policy where we couldn't hang up our phones no matter what until we had gone through our script so I had to sit and listen to this guy rant for 45 minutes. He kept me late after work too.
googled him when I got home and found nothing related to the scandal, so I'm 99% sure he was bullshitting to waste my time and stop us calling him again. Several years ago, my car got the absolute shit beaten out of it by a hailstorm. Like, $5,000 worth of damage. I wasn't planning on keeping it long term anyway so I never bothered to get it fixed. One day a few months later I dropped it off for an oil change, and the used car dealer next door called me with one of those, your car is a harder to get model and we'd like to offer you a trade in. Calls. Have you actually seen my car? Oh yes, we're looking at it right now. And you want to buy it off me? Yes, we'd love to get that conversation going with one of our sales representatives. So you're fine with all the hail damage? Um, well we can. And you know the sunroof is broken too right? Oh. I mean, if you saw it you'd know that. They hung up and never called me again. Damn, you should have let them just buy it. I've put them on hold before. As if I'm working in a call center. Had a guy on hold for five or so minutes it was quite ridiculous that he stayed on the line. I can guarantee he probably appreciated the free break. Agreed. Likely figured, fuck it I'll sit and wait. Exactly. In one video by Kit Boga, a popular scam baiter, he was trolling this one guy for like an hour before the guy admitted he knew he was being trolled from the beginning and just wanted to waste time, as the bonus he got from actually scamming someone was very little. He then proceeded to reveal large amounts of the company's information. I take a deep breath and let out a continuous raspberry. Fart noise with your tongue, for as long as I can. When I stop to take a breath I usually hear a Hello. And then I take a big breath again and continue. No one has made it to two full raspberries before hanging up on me. Honestly of all the replies this is the only one that made me actually laugh. I'm a child. We're all children, dick. Oh hang on, let me get the, they'll be able to help you. Then just turn the microphone off and go about my day. We have a rickroll extension. We forward them to it after telling them about the brief hold and then check the recording length the next day to see if they've beaten the record. Edit, it's 1.5 plays tilde about 5 minutes. Every time they sit through the beginning of the song the second time we all begin to pray to the internet gods that they will make it all the way through to the elusive third loop. What's the record? I've done this and handed the phone to my kids, when they were toddlers, before, too. I used to let them talk to my daughter when she was two all the time. She thought it was the best thing in the world. One moment, I'll get the lady of the house for you right now. He I woo. So, what is your password? Kyariotu. Big K, small Cyrillic Ya, Polish E W, Icelandic F, Turkish dotless I. No bot will ever brute force this. Scammer, oh you mean K. Is that correct? Demo summons from the floor. WTF do you want? I was sleeping. Just to let you know, by law I'm required to inform you that this is a premium phone line that will be billed directly to your provider. By calling here you agree to accept all charges. Something like that not only gets them to hang up, but they tend to stop calling me after that. My mother is older and retired for some time now. She makes a game out of screwing with them. She kept one calling from Microsoft going for a good 20 to 30 minutes having them try to direct her to install something. She just kept playing dumb and asking them to explain what they meant or to describe what she should be looking for. At the end she drops, do you think I'm having trouble finding Start or Windows because I'm on a Mac? And then just laughs and told them she'd be wasting their time on purpose. I think she said she was cooking or something like that the whole time. Other times she will just keep telling them they've got a bad connection and asks them to keep repeating themselves at which time she blows this shrill high-pitched whistle into the phone while they try and talk. Wash, rinse, repeat until they hang up. My dad passed away more than a decade ago and when he was pretty much stuck at home towards the end he'd screw around with them and sit and give them incorrect credit card numbers and shit until they caught on. I called a lot then to check in on him and on more than one occasion he switched lines to grab my call and he'd say, I wonder if they'll still be on hold when we're done taking. Don't get me wrong my parents are generally not malicious people. Quite the opposite actually. They just have some kind of particular axe to grind with telemarketing and scammers as they got to their older ages. When I was a kid it was always a polite, no thank you. Don't get me wrong my parents are generally not malicious people. Quite the opposite actually. 
they just have some kind of particular axe to grind with telemarketing and scammers as they got to their older ages. When I was a kid it was always a polite, no thank you. Modern attitude about the phone scammers is the longer you have them on the phone, the less time they get to scam someone else. It's a public service now. I give them a phone number one digit at a time and ask them to repeat it as a whole after each one. Then tell them they got it wrong when I'm done and start over. I do this but with my name. Tell me your name is like Mohamed Abdullah Ibrahim. And they just give up after the second age.